Hey there, my name is Nina Tulio and I am your Oligo Pro Business Education Ambassador. Super excited to be here with you today and guess what today's topic is? It's all about Instagram. And so one of the biggest questions, I would say people slide into my DMs all the time, but one of the biggest questions that they have is how do I build my Instagram quickly? So here's a couple things. You're never going to be able to build your Instagram quickly. And you know, this they're asking really more so about followers. And so I want to switch your mindset. Instead of you thinking about how can I build my Instagram followers, let's really try to think about how we can use Instagram to actually build your business and get new clients in your chair. I'm gonna give you three quick tips on how to do that. So here's the thing: like I mentioned before, there's really no quick way for you to build social media and even get new clients on social media. There are a couple things though that I really, really recommend that you do consistently. So that is the big word of the day today with, with Instagram, even Facebook as well. It's showing up and being consistent on your page. So tip number one, this is one thing that I really want to make sure that you grasp is you have to truly understand who your perfect target client is in order for you to then drop information and share information, educate those clients that you know you wanna spend time with. So if you know your perfect target audience and your perfect target client, you wanna share content and you wanna educate them and you wanna share things that they relate to. So for instance, if you are trying to build your balayage business, right? Things that you would talk about, it could be education, you know, how to uh, maintenance on balayage, what a balayage really is, because people have to understand obviously that this is a technique. And you know, there are so many things that you can kind of go through to really direct content toward that balayage, perfect target client, right? Things that you wouldn't do, or you're not going to post pictures or photos with men's cuts and pixie cuts and all of the different haircuts and things that you're not trying to target. So if balayage is your thing and that is your perfect target client and you know you know the age range is between 25 and 45, you know those are the people that you're going after after you have to know who you know what their lifestyle is, where they're spending time, what their hobbies are, all of those things, share content that is directly geared toward them. They don't care about pixie cuts. They don't care about men's cuts. They don't care about, you know, how to, you know, keep a, a pixie cut clean and short and how often they should come in. You want to really gear all of that content speaking to those people who are 25 to 45 years old, speaking to their hobbies, letting them understand what it's going to look like if they sit in your chair and get a balayage. So number one, make sure you understand who your target client is so you can create content that is geared directly toward them. Number two, I kind of talked about this a little bit in the beginning of this video about showing up consistently. This is number two. So you have to make sure that you are showing up consistently on your page and that your brand message is always the same, right? So remember talking about that perfect target audience, just to say it's balayage, right? Make sure that your brand and that your, your post and your content is always consistently showing up taking it back to that perfect target market. So you can't basically post one time a week, two times a week. If you're really trying to build your clientele, remember when we're not talking about building your audience, I mean, building your followers, we're talking about building clients in your chair. You have to make sure that you're showing up with pure intention and passion behind what you're posting and it has to be consistent. So if you are a newer stylist or maybe you just went in to be a new suite owner or renter and you're really grinding and looking for those clients, you have to make sure that you're showing up every single day and posting with pure passion and intention, right? So again, there's really no quick way. I know people are like, okay, well, what if I do that? I'm doing that, I'm showing up every day. If you're showing up every day and you're not seeing action, please understand this. It takes a good three to six months of consistency. That means showing up every day, really sharing target audience posts, right? That you're gearing it directly toward that target audience and that you are showing up 
with true passion and intention every single day. So just because you're showing up every day doesn't mean that it's going to work. It means that you have to know who your audience is. You have to make sure that you're speaking from your passion and you're, and you're sharing content that you know your audience is going to love. So you've got to pay attention to your insights because that's going to show you which posts are hitting really great and which mm, your audience really isn't connecting to. So that's number two. Number three, make sure you are engaging. This is so important, guys. Make sure you're engaging with your target audience. A lot of hairstylists are interacting with other hairstylists, which is great, and I highly recommend that you do that. However, that's not going to necessarily bring you new clients. So what I want you to do is start to search for some of your local hashtags or hashtags where you feel like your target audience is hanging. So remember we talked about hobbies, you know, where they live, what their activities are, what their profession is. Search some of those local hashtags in your area. So maybe it's a yoga studio, a Pilates studio, a gym, um, fashion. If you're into a particular type of fashion, and then you need to make sure that you're, they're in your local area. Start to look for those hashtags and start to maybe like the top five profiles that pop up, start to really engage with them on Instagram. So you just need to get in front of people. So pick those top five profiles that pick up from the hashtag that you're searching and make sure that you engage, like their post, comment on their post, make sure that it's sincere, right? We don't want to be fake and phony like, oh, I love this or I love that if you don't, but you just need to interact with them. You just need to maybe follow them. So then hopefully they follow you back. And then you're starting that kind of relationship where now you're going to pop up on their feed. Now you're in front of them. Now when you show up consistently every day with a message that is geared toward them, that perfect target client, now they're going to be like, okay, this makes total sense. I love him or her. I love what they're doing. I love their work. I love what they stand for. I love their energy, their vibe. It suits me. Now I'm going to click that book now button. So those are my three tips. If you're looking to grow your business on social media in particularly Instagram, right? Because I think a lot of hairstylists nowadays are using Instagram to build their business. Thank you guys so much. Please check me out on my IG page at Nina Tulio, and I will see you next time. Thanks guys.